On the 5th of October 2019, something extraordinary happened in Trackmania Nations Forever that we'd never seen before. On the campaign track D12 Speed, the player Darkbringer set a new world record of 3894, beating the old world record from Jav by one hundredth of a second. Any Trackmania world record improvement is a big deal in and of itself, but this record from Darkbringer was more than just a world record. It was the first time that a player had beaten a shortcut record by driving a track the intended way. You see, in the world's most competitive racing game, the top players go to extreme lengths when attempting to beat the world records on official tracks. The thing that is most highly regarded in the community is new shortcuts, where players use their innovation and creativity to revolutionize the ways tracks are played over a decade after their creation. But it isn't always so simple, because with each shortcut idea, there's one big hurdle to overcome, and that's time. After all, what's the point of a shortcut that doesn't save any time? It just so happens that on D12 speed, and other campaign tracks like it, the battle between new shortcut ideas and intended way records often comes right down to the wire. In this video, we're going to take a look at the most extreme Trackmania shortcuts that save the smallest fractions of time. Welcome to the history of Trackmania's smallest shortcuts. Let's begin by taking a look at D12 speed. The shortcut idea on D12 was discovered all the way back in 2013 by the player Nixion, but for a long time there's been a dispute about whether or not it saves any time at all. The shortcut takes place just after the start of the track. Nixion's idea was to skip this corkscrew looping by doing a drift before the drop down through the rings, and trying to land on the road border sideways. The reason you want to land sideways is to set up for a trick called the bug slide, whereby drifting when the car lands sideways in Trackmania, you can get a sharp slide with a lot of grip. Bug sliding on the road border sends your car into a 360 degree spin, making it possible to reach the platform below directly. With a good shortcut, it seems like this should surely save time, and up until the next checkpoint split, all looks well. But the one big problem is speed, because by skipping the looping, you're losing out on a ton of speed. For the second half of D12, the normal way record will be faster, and slowly creeping up closer and closer. In Darkbringer's world record, he caught up to Jav's old shortcut record just a few blocks before the finish line. If the finish had been placed a bit closer, then the shortcut would clearly be faster. And if the finish had been placed further away, then the intended way would be the clear choice. But on the official version of D12, the finish was placed exactly in a spot where the shortcut and normal path resulted in almost identical times. Trackmania players now found themselves at a huge conundrum. Which path truly was the most optimal one? Jav's 3895 was driven in 2015, and the run had taken him two years of grinding to achieve. The problem wasn't so much so doing the shortcut, as Jav had gotten many runs in the 39 second range. The problem was getting the shortcut fast enough, and carrying enough speed to hold the lead throughout the second half. For many players, it was daunting to go up against Darkbringer's record, especially considering that in his own words, Darkbringer said a 38.7 is possible the intended way. But his record also sparked the interest of Fastest Way Only, a notorious Trackmania shortcutting team, who wanted to prove the shortcut was indeed faster. In October of 2019, the player Plusterex got a run on D12 speed, which garnered a lot of hype in the community. After playing the track for only a few minutes on his livestream, he suddenly got a great shortcut attempt, and though he hadn't practiced the rest of the map at all, he cruised in to a 39.16, which was only two tenths behind the record. Seeing this motivated a few members of Fastest Way only, including myself. That autumn, I started grinding D12 speed, and I eventually managed to get many promising shortcut attempts but none had quite the speed necessary to beat Darkbringer. It would take me about one full week of trying, until I finally managed to get this run.
3882, a new world record with the shortcut, by 13 hundredths of a second. I remember feeling super happy and relieved about achieving this record, but I also knew that the run was not fast enough to completely prove the shortcut was faster than the normal way. For the next few weeks and months, I waited to see if Darkbringer would retaliate. But before he had a chance to do so, in January of 2020, Hafas got this run on D12 speed. a 3870, saving 12 more hundreds of a second. This improvement most likely puts half a record out of reach from the normal way. Overall, it's estimated that this loop skip can save 2 to 3 tons of a second. But the fact that both normal way and shortcut ends up being almost equally fast makes it an incredibly interesting battle. And D12 speed isn't the only track where that's the case. In fact, there are several Trackmania tracks with this exact problem. Let's take a look at BO2 Race. BO2 is a 25 second long drifting track, where precision is the key to a good time. But that being said, the track also has quite an obvious shortcut idea. BO2 Race starts out with a downhill, followed by a very sharp turn to the right. For a long time, Trackmania players have thought about shortcutting directly over the wall and skipping this turn. It's the exact same problem as on D12 speed, where you temporarily gain a huge lead, but the lack of speed makes the normal way record catch back up again. In order to save time with this shortcut, you had to make it all the way to the entry to this turn, without being caught up to. In 2016, fastest way only players gave the BO2 shortcut a fair shot. At the time they were still speculating if there was even a chance to save time with it, but the only way to find out was by trying. If just one player got a near-perfect skip, they could use it to estimate whether or not it was viable. That dream shortcut would be a perfectly flat landing, as early as possible on the road, so you could utilize all the available space to build up speed. The players gathered on an online server to try it out, and on the 26th of January 2016, the player Drarker got this run. A 2528, which at the time was just barely behind the world record, a 2527 by Riolu. Dwarker had gotten the perfect shortcut in the start, but the pressure got to him in the ending, and he lost too much speed in the final drift, allowing the normal way record to overtake him just before the finish line. Or so we thought. But earlier this year, it was discovered that Riolu had cheated the majority of all world records he ever drove, by playing the game in slow motion. This included his 25-27 on BO2 Race, meaning that the real world record on BO2 Race was actually a 25-29 driven by Race Hunt in 2015. Meaning, Drarker, without knowing it at the time, had actually set a new shortcut record by one hundredth of a second. The community had no idea that Riolu cheated back in 2016, so they kept trying the shortcut, thinking that they hadn't succeeded, and it would take them until February of 2018 to finally destroy BO2 Race, when the player Demon got this one.
a 2516, beating Drarker by 12 hundredths of a second, and putting the shortcut record just far enough away from the normal way record that it's likely unbeatable now. Demon's record has stood as the world record since 2018 until today, but if one were to get a landing with even more speed, it's likely that the shortcut can break the 25 second barrier. But Drarker and Demon are the only two players that have managed to pull off the BO2 shortcut, so it remains to be seen if a new improvement will ever be done here. Despite all the stories I tell of Trackmania shortcuts, the majority of the campaign tracks in Trackmania Nations Forever don't have any shortcuts at all. They're just standard racing tracks where players compete for fractions of a second, slightly better drifts and more optimal racing lines, to make the decisive difference. One such track is BO3 Race, which is a completely ordinary track. It starts out with a dirt turn to the left, followed by a series of jumps and a very sharp banked dirt turn. Then it goes on to a road section, followed by two tight end corners and a downhill to the finish. The world record on BO3 Race set in 2020 was a 2545 by Race Hunt, which executed everything extremely well and we used to think it was close to the limit on the track. But in March of 2021, Fastest Way Only started experimenting on BO3 Race. Could such a simple racing track as BO3 really have a shortcut that nobody in the community had discovered in the 12 years prior? It was almost unthinkable, but the player Plusterex had an idea. In the sharp bank turn, where players traditionally go as high as possible, Plusterex wanted to land in a bug slide, followed by a very tight line around the turn, which he thought might be a little faster. But when he was experimenting with it, Plusterex stumbled across something even better. By jumping out more to the left, you could barely get past the checkpoint and land in a bug slide to go off road, skipping the bank turn entirely and cutting straight towards the dirt uphill. The uphill block is very bumpy and it's hard to get a smooth line through it, but if he'd gotten that, it would almost surely be a new world record. All Fastest Way Only members gathered to break BO3 race. But which member would be the one to make history with the first ever shortcut run on the track? Well, you already know the line. On the 30th of March 2021, Hefes got this run. Twenty-five forty-one, beating the normal way record from Raysons by just four hundredths of a second. The shortcut gave him a sizable lead, and from there, he managed to just barely stay ahead with a car length to spare. At first it was thought that the shortcut only saved a few tenths, but after many players optimized it in the next couple of months, the world record eventually dropped all the way down to a 2453 by Roland which makes it just under a second faster than the intended route. The BO3 shortcut really opened Trackmania players' eyes to the possibilities of shortcuts on maps where they previously thought there were none, because BO3 wasn't the only track with a new shortcut discovered that month. Just one week earlier, Roland had completely broken the track D06 Obstacle, which is a wall ride multi-lap track where you drive laps over and over in a circle. Roland had discovered that jumping from one wall ride to the other was way faster than slowing down and staying on the ground. And this jump strategy brought the record from 5850 down to 5686, a very sizable improvement. But the story on the 6 obstacle wasn't over quite yet, because the player Alex B had also thought of a very promising shortcut idea on the track. The 6 obstacle has just one checkpoint and it's placed on the opposite side of the multi-lap. So Alex thought that in the third and final lap, maybe it's possible to cut straight across the grass and drive up one of the sculptures to bounce into the finish. The idea seemed promising, 
but it had a few problems. In order to get out on the grass, you had to do a very difficult corner bounce before the tack point, then find the tight gap between all the obstacles, and once you were out on the grass, you still had to maintain enough speed to reach the finish block from the sculpture. Not to mention, you also had to drive two clean laps of DO6 beforehand, with the two big wall ride jumps, to even have an attempt at the Alex B shortcut. Though surely possible in theory, many players didn't bother with it. Except for Dennis, who was determined to see it through. He took on DO6 Obstacle as a passion project, and played the track consistently for the next few months, going for the shortcut and getting hundreds of attempts. But on the 29th of June, Dennis finally got a promising attempt. In the run, he fell a bit behind Roland Start, since he wasn't risking the wall ride jumps nearly as much. But on the last lap, he got a perfect shortcut bounce onto the grass, which made us run more than fast enough. All he needed now was a good sculpture jump for the world record. Fifty six eighty three, beating the world record by just three hundredths of a second. Dennis had a slight off angle on the sculpture bounce, which made him clip the road border in an awkward way. The resulting rotation caused him to spin uncontrollably, but the car crossed the finish line just in the nick of time, proving another Trackmania Nations Forever shortcut possible. It's highly likely that this record will be beaten by the intended way in the future. But for now, it still stands as the world record. It's incredibly interesting to see just how close the battles between normal way and shortcut can get, but what about two competing shortcut ideas instead? You see, the track A13 race in the white campaign has an interesting problem. The track starts out with a long uphill, followed by a downhill into the first and only checkpoint on the track. From there, the intended route goes through a couple of more corners. But already 13 years ago, in 2008, the player Cluthu discovered a huge shortcut, taking the first checkpoint, turning around and driving back up the hill. And then, with a precise angle, he climbed directly over the road border to the right and dropped down to the finish platform. This shortcut route has remained the fastest way to play A13 race for over a decade, and the record has been improved all the way from Cluthu's original 30.71 to 2802 by Link, where he performed both the turnaround and the wall climb almost perfectly. Recently though, players started re-examining the track, challenging the idea of this being the fastest route. You see, the turnaround shortcut is incredibly efficient, but it has one small problem. Turning around in the checkpoint and driving back up the hill is very slow, and if there were other ways to skip from the checkpoint to the finish, they might be faster. In 2021, players started trying an alternative approach to the track. Instead of turning around in the checkpoint, they would continue driving the track as intended, and then, after the long left turn, they jump sharply to the right, going back onto the start road, and from there, the idea was to bug slide over the wall border and bounce onto the finish road. This idea has been tried as early as in 2015, but no one has succeeded with it yet. When comparing it to the turnaround shortcut, it seems much slower at first. But there's one small detail, which was discovered by the Trackmania tool-assisted speedrunner Steam, that made the idea worthwhile. The bunny hop. If you did a bug slide in a very precise angle on the start road, and cancelled the slide just before you hit the wall, the car could do a tiny bunny hop by itself, giving you a low and fast trajectory over the wall which might gain back all the time lost versus the turnaround route. Once again, Fastest Way Only members got together to see if they could break another track with another new shortcut. And very quickly into the hunt, Plasterx was again the first player to get a promising attempt. Twenty-eight twelve. Plusrex got so close to breaking the record, 
falling just one tenth of a second behind the record from Link. Plusrex's 2812 gave the players confirmation that the new shortcut on A13 race was indeed possible. All they needed was a slightly lower trajectory to the boosters, and they would successfully break a 10-year-old shortcut route. The next day seemed like it was bound to be the one where A13 race would fall. So many players were trying that it was no longer a matter of if the record would be broken or not, but rather who would be the first to do it. And perhaps surprisingly, it was actually Link who got this run. Twenty-seven fifty-six, a new world record by 46 hundredths of a second, not just beating the overall shortcut, but completely destroying his own record. For me personally, it's really fascinating to see how even at the highest level of Trackmania competition, so many competing ideas can end up being almost equally fast. And there's not just one way to play the game. On A13 race, the battle between the two shortcuts isn't quite over yet. Many players thought that the bunny hop shortcut would surely be faster. But the player Jav recently created a tool assisted speedrun on the track, where he showed that the old turnaround shortcut, done perfectly, could achieve a time of 2718. However, it's unlikely that any human player will ever do it fast enough to beat the current record. But if there's one thing to take away from all of this, it is that you should never underestimate the determination of Trackmania speedrunners. If they believe that a new shortcut is possible, even if it only saves a few hundredths, that's enough to make them grind until it's completed. And there's still so many shortcut ideas that haven't yet been completed. But that's a topic for another time. If you enjoyed this video, then please consider subscribing to the channel so you never miss when I upload new Trackmania content. Also a big thank you to my patrons for funding our work. I wholeheartedly appreciate it. If you would like to become a patron and get cool perks like early access to new videos, the link will be in the description below. But that's all for now guys, I will see you all in the next video, and until then, have a good one.